trying to weld some stuff. We're back in Ralph's shop, finalizing our pintles, cleaning up the welds on the keel and rudder brackets, drilling for zerk fittings, and welding the very first gudgeon. Step one, decide if we have enough slop or margin of error on the part of the pintle that moves within the gudgeon. I'm not arguing with you, I'm not disagreeing with you, I just said it looks like a lot. So it's easier to take stuff off than it is to put stuff back on. You wanna go half? Okay. I convinced you, didn't I? Yeah. Let's go half. George Bueller suggests a sloppy fit, but after 35 years of precision required work on race cars, this wasn't easy for Rolf to accept. So we met in the middle. Take the grinder. Excuse me, Ruthie. Mm -hmm. Take the grinder <laughs> and get your glasses. Find some glasses. I think your glasses are right there. Okay. Grind, grind all the little tips and stuff. Okay. Off of this. Okay. And then um, grind a little bit of the face because we're gonna put the the we gotta weld the pintles into those gungeons. Mm -hmm. And then weld that entire assembly onto here. Okay. But we need a cleaner surface than this. Cool. So clean off these edges with that, you know, make it yeah. flat, and then try and get some of that rough okay. scale off. Cool. Kids. Please. Yeah. George Bueller, our naval architect, wrote the book on backyard boat building. In it, he writes A stout rudder must be mounted very stoutly to the boat. Inexpensive fittings you can have welded up that will take the strain. I use mild steel for these rather than stainless. I don't like stainless much underwater. It corrodes funny and it's hard to weld. Mild steel is the next best thing to wood, and although it can rust, it won't if it's protected. These fittings will last as long as the boat. Garrett and I are inspired by people like Bueller and like Rolf with their nonchalant demeanor and their go-get-it attitude, it just makes you really excited to get stuff done and not take yourself too seriously. So is that tape welding? That's, yeah, that's tape welding. Okay. I'm just going to turn your ass off. Tape welding, the electrode, which I'm holding in my hand, uh -huh. is non-consumable. And the tape welding, oh, okay. the electrode, which is the wire is cool. The electrode, that is an electrode, that is consumable. Cool, so, meaning it becomes part of the weld. Well. Yeah, it's okay. a consumable piece. Cool. Whereas in tape welding, the tungsten or electrode is non-consumable. Cool. So freaky. <laughs> it's kind of Frankenstein. It's how supermen are born. <laughs> or idiots. It's like surgery. Yeah, we drilled this hole halfway down um, on the gudgeon, and we're gonna press in one of these uh, Zerk fittings for a grease gun. So it'll be a part of our annual haul out. Um, whenever we pull the boat out of the water, we'll just grease them up. That'll help keep them run smooth and then help keep them from rusting. Yeah. Yeah. 
three on the rudder and three on the boat. Yeah, well there's three straps on the rudder, there's only two straps on the keel because the last one is up on the transom, that's just why it's a plate. That's part of the keel, all right? So these are getting the gun. Is our oil thing on the side? Oh, thanks, thanks for bringing that up, Ruth. <laughs> That's why we keep her around. <laughs> we knew we kept the smart one around. We're gonna. Where do we want that? On, the, want side, on the side, right? Yeah, I think the side is. Because then you don't have to oh, take no, the rudder no. off at all. No, we don't want it totally on the side because we're gonna be putting bars. <laughs> oh, uh huh. Like that. So at a forty-five, because then it's out of the way. It's out of the way at the pintle. Gungeons. Yeah, that so, sounds good to me. So forty-five-ish, like that. Yeah. All right, cut me, cut me that, cut me two of those. Two of those, good. So let's see how high it is. Five hundred and five hundred and eight, five hundred and eighty. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be sweet. My god, what are you building? The Mayflower? <laughs> Seriously, I mean think about it. I mean that's that's the top rudder. That's that that's that that's exactly how the top rudder assembly is gonna look. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the top of your boat. Mm hmm Right? Yep. So and this is gonna be the top, top of your rudder. rudder. Yeah. That's that exactly looks, how it's gonna look. That looks awesome. Super burly. Even after decades. Uh -huh. I want you to show I want you to see how flat this is. Okay. And then when we're done welding it, how much that moves up. How much it bowed? Yeah. I love that Ralph still gets amazed by his trade. Isn't that amazing? It shows you the power of heat. I mean, that's, that's a half inch. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we meet up, I can bring the rudder. Because uh, I can make sure to have the truck cleared out. And... That would be the best. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, don't you... Bless his heart for pushing through the sickness. But we called it a day anyway and talked about next time. Right? I mean, the kill is going to be, you're not going to move that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but you can, like you said, I can shave wood you, off. You can, can shave wood off, off and yeah. you can move that around. So in two weeks, we'll lug the rudder to the shop so we can weld the pintles to the straps directly on our stout rudder. If you don't have enough slop, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. your guy mm -hmm. was saying, but I don't like to work in those realms. I'd like to make things just plumb and square mm -hmm. from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, don't bend the Austin Healy. Yeah. It's going to be my ass. Scoochie, scoochie, scooch. Yeah, this one would be slow. Okay. All right. You want to just set your hand down? Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Or is this the one I mashed? I don't remember. Yeah, this is the one I mashed. Oh, look at that. I yeah. mashed that. Oh, it's is it, nice. Is that oh, perfect? Yeah. Nice. That's oh, slicker man. than snot. Yeah. Brother, a little, little love. Yeah, yeah, good job, man. Beautiful. God. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. It's like you planned it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so now the thing is we have, oh, I flattened this up. Look at this. Remember that that had the yeah. wall in it? Oh, nice. So that's nice and straight. Sweet. Uh, um, so. Um, Looks the awesome. Pintles, we have to. We, we already have all the pintles welded up. So now what we need to do is seeing how those are on there. What the best thing to do, I think, is to pack the first one on. Okay. So 
Can you locate those? Yeah. In in a in a general height wise of where you want them? Yeah, for sure. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll tack weld the first one on the top or okay. the bottom, either one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get it square with a string the best we can, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, I got some nice fancy pink string. Nice. And <laughs> we'll um, we'll align it the best we can. We'll tack it. We'll get it square. Uh -huh. Then we'll run the string, maybe with a nail. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll line the, the other pencil at the top, and mm -hmm. then we'll put the one in the middle and we'll tack it. Once they're nice and tacked and we're happy with that, uh -huh. pull them off and then burn them on. Sweet. All right, okay. you, you set that up. I'm gonna go get uh, my, my fancy string. There it is, fancy. Oh yeah. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> Pink. Perfect. So are you just figuring out where you want the, the straps? Yeah, roughly. With our pintles tacked into place where we want them, we threw the rudder back in the truck. And continued cutting the rest of the bar filler pieces. And finish welded the pintles into their final home. Finally, the final step, the last two gudgeons.
that on? Yeah. And you should be able to close this and look through that. Can you see through that? Yeah. And then as soon as you strike the arc, it'll 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 um it'll go away. So come here, come here. So what I want you to do is you want to be strapped like this, kind of mm -hmm. you know comfortable. And then what I do, we're gonna get you like this. So um, I'm gonna attack this. Close your eyes. All right, come here. So basically two hands, like this, and then you wanna watch it, and just a nice, steady, you know, pace across. Uh -huh. You could almost drag that, if not, uh -huh. if not drag it, on the lower part. Uh -huh. Now I know how hard your job is, Ruth. <laughs> okay, anytime you're ready. I just pull the trigger? Pull the trigger. And how close do I want to your attack? Right there. Okay. You're good. Go. Stop. That was absolutely freaking perfect. First time weld. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, Garrett, your turn. Okay. It's just kind of like that. Okay, and just straight across, no wiggle waggle. No, no wiggle waggle. No funny, no funny foo foo stuff. Okay. And we're just. Top. We're just we're just welding. Okay. We're and not about, being we're not being fancy fandango. Nice slow steady so about speed. About like that kind of speed. Yeah, about like that. Okay. And and you know I'll tell you faster or slower if I see you going too slow. Okay. And you guys just watch your stick out about a half inch, half inch nine sixteen something like that. All right. Ready? Yep. Too fast. Slow down. Slow down. That's perfect. See, Ruthie was a little bit uh, slower than you. You were a little bit faster. But neither one of those. She's got more of a crown mm -hmm. because she was slower. Mm -hmm. But yours, yours is just as you know. And look at mine. Mine are big, weave, hot, you know, nasty ass. <laughs> you know, God, you're well. You guys are naturals. There's nothing awesome. wrong. With Let me finish out the, the corners. Sure. And then, um, and then we're done. Sweet. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, they're racing. They're racing harder. So many stories are woven into the boat. Our success is thanks to the positivity and help of others. Whether you're the airline pilot we bought a generator from, or the race car fanatic teaching us to weld, we thank you. And to you on the other side of the screen, whatever walk of life we found you on, thanks for watching. But we're not done yet. We still have to hang the rudder. I cinched, every, I got everything in place to where it was moving, spinning nice and free. but I wanted to cinch down on it with the bolts um, just to make sure everything stayed in place. And I got a little bit of um, friction going this way, it's a little stiff, see? Uh-huh. Uh, when I cinched down on everything. Um, but it really wasn't that bad, so I just decided to take the, uh, use a grinder to just take a little bit. Grind real quick, that should solve the problem. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna throw it up one more time, just make sure everything spins nicely, and if it does, then we'll take it back down. <laughs> Two, six. <laughs> and uh, then we'll take all the hardware off and hit everything with the epoxy paint and finish up the rudder, get it all painted and primed, and then bed all the gudgeons and pintles onto the boat and onto the rudder, and then we can hang it up permanently. Aha.
life for if not for the little victories we celebrate every day? Come to the shop and get your welding helmet and yeah, we'll just teach you how to weld. Yeah, man. I've I've honestly welding is is one thing that I've wanted to learn for so long because it's, it's it's a skill it's like that you gotta the, have. And it's yeah. I think it's the only thing that I haven't done as far as you know woodwork, electrical, plumbing. Like you know I've I've done all that. He's just like my son. I've never <laughs> welded, <laughs> yeah, but he has welded. And I've got I've always had a fascination with it. And I can I can I can promise you that um, if you choose to, you will learn how to weld.